Love is not merely for an individual to experience for herself or himself. Love is an action verb and it requires an object. So among us. And just to paint this picture, I just thought maybe if you could imagine for a second being on a date with your lovely spouse or handsome spouse, if you're married and if you're not, you could imagine one of us. You imagine me and my wife having a nice dinner at a, you know, a nice table like this with a black tablecloth and nice meal. And I look across the table into my lovely wife's eyes and, and I just go, oh, babe, I love Don't you think she would just be moved by that? Isn't that wonderful? But see, there's, love needs an object, doesn't it? For it to be truly love, someone has to receive that and enjoy that as well. I mean, I might truly love, but what is it when I go, I love you? Then it's specific. It's not I love the French fries sitting in front of me. I love her. Love needs an object. So when our love is, the love that God has given us is practiced with each other, it is perfected among us. That's what it says. Did you notice that? Love is made complete with us. With us. us. I mean, I'm, this is simple. Us is a plural word. Love is made plural, or love is made plural. Love is made complete with us. Love is practiced as a group. It's between God and me, God and you, then between me and you, and me and you and others. We cannot be mature, growing believers alone. 